Hey guys, what's up? In today's free details video, I'm gonna show you how you can disable or remove the new Facebook timeline profile from your profile. So basically, this is an extension that's gonna be installed on your browser, and this works on Google Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer, the major three browsers. And this is quite easy because it has an option that you can always enable timeline if you if you really want in future I'm gonna prove it to you in a minute so basically if you go into Google or any any other browser that you are using and then type in timeline remove dot com that's timeline remove dot com you get to this web page and if you scroll down basically it shows which browser are you accessing this site from so I'm accessing from a Google Chrome web browser so it highlights uh, my web browser in this website so it's quite easy to identify which web browser you are accessing from and all you have to do is click on this highlighting icon in here and it will show a warning message basically if you're installing a new extension it doesn't matter it's not a virus so go ahead and click on continue and it will download and ask you to install so if you click on install click and install and then that will be installed on your browser now I'm going to show you how this works on a Facebook profile basically it will have an extension icon on the top right corner of your web browser it shows an icon in here so if you click in that icon it will either show a green tick in here or a red cross if you go back to your timeline profile and click that extension icon again it shows a green tick in here that means you you can remove the timeline profile so if you reload in here or refresh the page while the icon shows as green ticked you'll go back to the old Facebook profile that's nice and clean so if you want to disable old Facebook profile and go back to timeline profile back all you have to do is go on to the extension icon click in that green tick and refresh the page so it's very easy and you can also download the same tool if you're using Firefox it will highlight Firefox if you're using Internet Explorer it will highlight Internet Explorer alright that's it thanks for watching hope you found this useful please drop your comments below and like it if you like this guys that means a lot to me um, I'll see you in my next video bye for now